We all know it's not hard to find open space in our metro, but a relaxing hike or even a walk through the park is often interrupted by city noise, especially when loud cars are passing by. Now a new piece of technology could soon minimize the noise that drivers make, and it works kind of like a speed camera. Alika Medina is here with us now to explain what a UNM professor created, Alika. Yeah, Danielle, Julie, he says he came up with this idea five years ago after countless sleepless nights and noisy hikes. He started researching noise to aggressive driving, but also how noise has a role in health. He says his goal is to bring some peace and quiet to the community. Chances are you didn't have to see the video to know what that sound is. And you are not alone. Nick Ferenczak, an associate professor at UNM and the president for Not Allowed, says between noisy hikes and loud cars racing the streets, he has had enough. We hike a lot in the, the Sandia Mountains, and it always kind of um, interested me that, you know, you can be up in the Sandias, it's absolutely beautiful, you can't see the city at all, but you can still hear it, right? You can hear the cars racing up and down tramway. So just struck me of if a car, a loud vehicle drives all the way the 10 miles up and down tramway, right? how many people are they going to wake up at night? Perinchak created a noise tracker similar to the speed cameras you see across Albuquerque. He says the noise tracker has a camera and a microphone and can capture a license plate of a car going over the noise limit. We can actually hear what was going on. Uh, so we can hear, was it a gunshot, was it a leaf blower, or was it actually a motor vehicle? As of right now, there are no regulations in the state of New Mexico regarding noise, but there is a noise ordinance in Albuquerque, Rio Rancho, and Santa Fe. Berenchek says Lead, Cole, Broadway, and Cesar Chavez are common streets they have tracked as the noisiest and where they have seen the most speeding. And so, Alika, this professor says that these trackers are going to help them study the long-term impacts this noise has on us. Yeah, that's right. Prof professor Ferencheck has found a person may not even notice how noise can affect their everyday health. There's lots of research connecting noise pollution to uh, adverse health outcomes. So if you're waking up three times in the night because loud vehicles keep on racing by, that's going to impact your health. Uh, it's been correlated with increased uh, blood pressure, stress, all kinds of different things. Um, so we're going to hopefully improve public health. Danielle, Julie, there have been pilot programs of this technology in Santa Fe and Albuquerque, but as of right now, there is nothing permanent. He says he hopes to change that in the near future.